Hello campers, brought to you by BigBadPlaid.com. I'm Chris Bell with another edition of Cocktails with Chris. I'm back in action. It's been a long couple of weeks that saw me go in and out of the hospital. Didn't have COVID, but had a rather major stomach disorder, but I'm on the mend now. And how I know I'm on the mend martinis are tasting good again. That's really the, the final test. But while not feeling well, I started binge watching Ozark. And I know it's there have been like three seasons, so I'm a little late to the game, but have been enjoying it greatly. And in the very first episode, I learned something that I thought was very, very interesting that if you're trying to escape from a Mexican drug cartel and disappear off of the earth completely, one of two ways that you're most likely to screw that up after you've changed your identity and uh, all the paperwork and everything else, one is if your kids get sloppy on social media, and the second is if your wife has one lemon drop too many with her new best friend and decides to share. So I heard about that, that lemon drop, and I thought, I want to know more about this female truth serum. And so I started researching it and learned that it, there's a great story behind it. Norman J. Hobday was an out of work Vietnam veteran back in the 1970s. And he's the one who invented the drink. But along with the drink, he also invented what came to be known as a fern bar. He had plants and Tiffany lamps inside the bar, and it became a craze for, for two decades. Those types of bars were very attractive to upwardly mobile urbanites. And uh, along with fern bars, uh, the popularity of the lemon drop uh, grew and grew. And a lot of people refer to it as a lemon drop martini. It's not uh, a martini. Its closest relative is called a Cresta that originated a long time ago in New Orleans that also had a sugar coated rim. So let's get started because that's the first step and the, the most important. You take your coupe glass or whatever you're going to serve in and a, a wedge of lemon and you you run it across the rim of your glass just like you would a lime with a margarita glass if you were going to have a salted rim on your martini. And then you have a plate with sugar on it, dip it in, and you want to make this the first step so that you give the sugar as long as possible to to dry along the rim. So it looks good in terms of sugar on the rim. Set it aside and it's time to mix up the cocktail. You use two ounces of your choice of vodka. We're using the Belvedere this week. And a full ounce of fresh squeezed orange juice, or lemon juice, excuse me. A full ounce of simple syrup, which you'll remember you use a half cup or a full cup of sugar along with a half cup or full cup of water, and you bring that to a boil to make your simple syrup and we are right at a, a full ounce there. That brings the, the sweetness to your drink obviously and for the third ingredient you can use either triple sec or Cointreau and I'm going to use Cointreau and it is only a, a half ounce and that brings uh, obviously a little more alcohol, a little more boost to the drink but uh, it, it also brings some orange flavoring with either triple sec or Cointreau. Then you add ice to the drink, to your, to your shaker. Shake it up. 
Shake it up. And you're ready to serve. Bring your glass back over. Pour in the goodness. And you're ready to try it. Now, some say when you're mixing up a batch of lemon drops that some people like to forego the sugar on the rim. It's strongly advised that you don't do that because that gives you the, the blast of sugar before the citrus and the sweetness and, and everything else. So let me give it a try. Extremely tart, extremely tasty, but you know it has to be good because this is the drink that Oprah served Rachel Ray on her show. And you're just not gonna serve up just any old cocktail to the Rachel Ray. I think you'll really enjoy it. It should make for a great Labor Day treat. So, as always, I would ask you to subscribe when my picture appears, me in the orange shirt up here in the corner, please click on it. And that way you can become a subscriber and join us every week here on Cocktails with Chris. Have a great week.